Hey guys, and welcome back to another art video, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing an art supply review. So I have owned these pencils before. I used to use them in a lot of marker art and sketching, but it's been a while since I purchased them, and they're starting to become little nubs. So I repurchased this 12 set at Office Depot for $6, somewhere around that price. It might vary depending on where you buy it. Um, and I thought now would be a good time to review them. So just a little disclaimer, I feel like you have to do before every review video. Um, as I said, I did buy these myself. It's not sent to me or sponsored. Um, I just wanted to show you guys these pencils and whether you are searching for this review or you're just subscribed to me, I thought I would give you my opinions on them and tell you why artists might use colored pencils for sketching and things like that. So here's an overview of the packaging. The front says Color Erase, Erasable Color Pencil. Um, there are 12 color pencils in this set. And there's a little triangle here to let you know that they are erasable. And if you didn't know, these are by Prismacolor. That is the brand that these color pencils are. I just figured I would specify that. <laughs> then on the back, there is a before and after of what these pencils are supposed to do. Um, so you can see uh, pretty dark marks here, and then they are completely gone in the second picture, so we will see if they erase to that extent. Formulated to write with brilliant intensity, erases effortlessly, and resists breakage. And then these are all of the colors that come in the set. There is vermilion, brown, terracotta, Tuscan red, blue, carmine red, green, yellow, black, purple, light blue, and light green. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the packaging. I am going to go ahead and open them. These are the pencils out of the packaging. I actually forgot that they don't come sharpened, so I will have to include that in my testing process. And yeah, I guess I will go ahead and do that now. I'm going to use the Prismacolor Premier Pencil Sharpener just because it's the same brand, so I figure that it should work with other Prismacolor products. I think the Premier Pencil Sharpener recommends that you twist the sharpener and not the pencil, but... I don't have time for all that. Okay, so this one actually sharpened pretty well with that sharpener. Uh, it came to a nice point, and it didn't really break in the sharpener, which a lot of pencils tend to do, especially ones that claim to be erasable or are on the cheaper end, like these ones. So I am very surprised that <laughs> these ones did not break and that they came to such a nice point. Okay, so these are them all sharpened, and you can see the ones that are a little bit shorter are the ones that took a little bit longer to sharpen which isn't great because that means that there is less pencil for me to use now and I will have to buy those pencils sooner, which is not great, but these are very inexpensive. So I don't blame them for uh, getting a little busted up in shipping. But yeah, these are very inexpensive, so repurchasing them shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, it's just a little bit annoying whenever you go to sharpen a pencil and it takes a while. Also, I am missing vermilion in this set. I was sharpening them and counted them out and realized that I only had 11 and I looked on the back of the package and I don't have vermilion, which I am very sad about because it's a very nice like scarlet red color that I really liked to sketch with uh, when I bought them previously, but I guess I will just have to purchase that separately. But yeah, I'm a little sad that I only have 11 colors because that vermilion was one of my favorites. Okay, so even though I'm a little sad that I only have 11 colors, I will swatch these out for you and show you guys how they erase. Okay, so these are all 11 colors that I got swatched out. A little uneven, as you can see. There are supposed to be six on each side, but I only got 11 colors, so a little bit mad, but it's fine. So I'm going to test out the color race eraser first. I'm going to use the one on the black because I don't see myself ever using the black color race pencil. I'll probably just use graphite if I want to use black. So I'm going to go ahead and use this eraser to try and uh, show you how the eraser works and also how erasable the lead is for each color. So I forgot to hit record for that little segment, but you can see um, how well the color race eraser erases. I feel like I've said that word seven million times. You can see the red is one of the colors that doesn't erase as well. Uh, the yellow erases pretty well because it's pretty light. All of these light blues and purples erase pretty okay. I would say the brown and the red are definitely the ones that take a little more elbow grease to erase, but um, yes, I'm going to go ahead and use an actual eraser. Uh, I dropped something. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to use this Faber-Castell eraser because, to be honest, the color erase pencil eraser is not that great, so I'm going to use this one instead and see how well the lead erases with an actual white eraser. Okay, so 
So with a close-up here, you can definitely see that the color erase pencil was outperformed by the Faber-Castell eraser. You can definitely see on this brown here that the color erase did not erase it very well at all, but the Faber-Castell left a clean mark. So if you have colored pencils that aren't erasing very well, it might be down to what eraser you're using. I also wanted to point out that the color in the lead is very accurate to its packaging, so you don't have to worry about if you pick up a pencil and it is not the color that you thought it was. I just really enjoy the variety that this set has to offer. Obviously there would be a little bit more of a variety if I had gotten the extra pencil, but I just enjoy that this set has bright tones and also really dark tones to kind of balance those out. It's just a really versatile pencil set and I'm going to get into the actual testing part of it now. <laughs> This is what a basic sketch would look like whenever I sketch with these pencils. I used a light yellow to get my basic shapes down and then I cleaned it up with a red. This is something that might be useful to you if you need cleaned up sketches to be scanned into the computer. You could use a different color for your basic shapes and stuff and your finished sketch will not look as messy. So I just went ahead and used the same exact sketch to demonstrate what an inked picture might look like with these pencils. So I just think it adds a little bit more character to have those yellow and red hints in the background um, and even some red accents like on the nose and the cheeks like I like to do. I just think it adds a little bit more life and character to your black and white sketches. So I went ahead and recreated what this sketch looks like off camera because you guys don't need to see me sketching the same thing over and over. But yes, I wanted to show you guys what this would look like when colored with markers. So I'm going to go ahead and lighten up these lines with my kneaded eraser just to kind of, first of all, lighten them up and make sure that my marker tips don't get too gunky. And then after I lighten them up, I will color in the picture with my pro markers. Okay, so obviously I lightened up those lines earlier and the marker kind of ate away at it too and gave it this soft pastel kind of look, but I am going to go back with a Tuscan Red to kind of darken up some areas that I want to be a little bit more bold. Okay, so now that I've darkened up some of the lines, I'm going to go back with the Carmine Red and add a little bit more of that red in the nose and face region. So this is the finished marker coloring of this little piece, and I'm not even gonna lie, I'm really, really proud of this little drawing. I think the softness of the markers and the texture of the pencil, that kind of scratchy, pencil-y texture, really demonstrates how you can use colorist pencils not only as a sketching tool, but also as a kind of detailing and finalizing tool. And yeah, I'm just really, really proud of this drawing, and I will definitely be doing markers and colorist pencils more often. So now I'm going to color this exact same picture, but in watercolor, and I'm going to do this off camera again because I don't think you guys need to watch me color the exact same picture twice but I will be right back and give my final thoughts on the color pencils. So here is this piece colored with watercolor. The texture is still really nice. The watercolor itself also has a texture so the texture of the pencil is not as striking I suppose as it is with markers. It is a little bit more difficult to make marks on like rough watercolor paper which you guys won't be able to tell because they are a little bit waxy. I think the Prismacolor Premier pencils work better for rougher texture papers. So as a kind of conclusion to this video, these are a staple in my collection and I hope that they become a staple in your collections. I just think they're a really versatile tool. There's a wide color variety. You can use them for drawing people and plants and you can use them for both sketching and adding details like I said many times. I think they add a nice little flair to your sketches and your watercolor paintings and your marker drawings and I hope that you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful if you were looking for a review on these pencils. I hope you found mine satisfactory. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.